Hi, in this video, I wanna give you a quick overview of how you might set up a system in HubSpot for running customer success. We're gonna start with companies. These are gonna be the central record that'll give us a 360 degree view of all of our accounts. What we're looking at here is some filtered lists. So we have all our companies, we have a list for upcoming renewals, at risk accounts, and any companies that are specifically assigned to me as a CSM or as a leader. That way, whenever I need to go into an individual record, if I open up this one here, I can get everything that I need about an account in one place. You'll notice over here on the left-hand side, we have some pertinent customer success information like renewal date, the next QBR date, the health score for this customer, and who's been assigned to this customer. We have the status of onboarding, a link to their onboarding plan, and everything else on the right hand side is going to be all the other records for contacts, for deals, for tickets that are associated with this account. And finally, up at the top here, we use this pinned note template to give a quick overview of the accounts so that anybody who's taking a look, whether they're on the success team, whether they're in sales, marketing, whoever it is at the company can quickly get context on this account, what problem they're trying to solve and how things are going. The next thing that we're gonna take a look at is if I go into pipelines, we can use pipelines in HubSpot to manage specific stages of the customer journey. So this one that we're looking at here is for onboarding, but we might also have another one for renewals or upsells or any other commercial moments in the journey. And through this pipeline, we can lay out the stages, we can set required properties to make sure that our team has everything they need to help customers be successful and ultimately build a more efficient internal process. Next, we have workflows. Workflows in HubSpot are a really great way to automate the repetitive work. We can do things like move deals that are closed one in our sales pipeline on into onboarding. We can set up the onboarding handoff. We can include information about the type of customer that we're gonna be working with. We can attach a customer facing plan. We can send email, we can assign owners of that contact, and we can move data around to make sure that everything stays in sync. We can also use workflows to set health scores, to set specific statuses on health scores, to set trends, to do all sorts of interesting things with the data that we have in HubSpot. Finally, we can use HubSpot reporting to give us a really good high level picture of what is happening with all our accounts. In this case, we're looking at a report for customer health. So we have all of our accounts laid out with their specific health scores, the trend as we mentioned, and the breakdown of the score, along with that same health score broken up by the score for every account, and also by the individual CSMs who are working with accounts. And finally, we have this report at the bottom for any missing data. This is just one of the reports that we can create, but everything that we're showing here is gonna really give you a system to build and operationalize your customer success process inside of HubSpot. If you're interested in learning the how-to of what I've just shown you, we have a mini course on setting up HubSpot for customer success, along with a service to actually get into your account and just take the work off your plate and do it for you. But I'd love to hear what you think. What are the things you're trying to achieve with running customer success in HubSpot? What are some of the reasons that you're not sure if HubSpot is the right place for your team? Thanks so much.